one. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the chat with the author of Ash and the Midas Touch, the upcoming book and a project by Catherine J. Ellis from Imagineering to a Better World. We are here to talk about all about the book, what inspired her, how she thought of this story, and what all went behind it. So, Catherine, welcome on your own talk show. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Ishani, and thank you so much again for being guest interviewer. And also for those of you who don't know, Ishani was the fabulous graphic designer on this project as well. So thank you so much, Ishani. The pleasure is all mine, and I'm so excited to actually ask you a few questions. While working on the project, I think I did not get a chance to ask these interesting questions for you, so it's a very good chance for me to also listen to what were, what was your thought process. So let's get started. My first question to you is, Catherine, what inspired you to write this book? Okay. Um, one of the main themes of the book is talking about money smarts. And so it's people. It's how to teach people to have a healthy relationship with money. And this sort of goes back, I mean, I, this has been a journey throughout my life and part of my heart's cry is for justice. So I totally get it when people talk about social justice or justice. And from my point of view, I can see everybody wants to worship something or someone and a lot of people worship money. And if you choose to worship money or, or the God behind money is actually called mammon, then you, you, you come under bondage. There's slavery there and there's so many um, proverbs and different things talking about that. And you become, it's um, you get caught up in it in mainly two different ways, so greed or poverty. And I've seen it so often in my life where, and especially young ones now, like especially people around your age, they're just um, using Afterpay, using their credit card. They don't realise that any money that they spend today, they're actually stealing from their future. And, you know, so I just, I just have this passion about that. If we can teach people the consequences of their actions, that if you, you only have a certain of money to spend. So if you spend more than that, you're already heading towards bankruptcy. You're already heading towards a really horrible life where you're telling, where the bank or someone else is telling you how you can live your life. So to me, if we can teach people about the basics of money and teach people that money is a tool and it can be a positive, wonderful thing where you can help others and, and learn all this different stuff, but that there's freedom in understanding about your money. And the, your, you know, your relationship with money. And when I talk about your relationship with money, it's because your money smarts must include your emo smarts. So it's your financial and emotional intelligences go together. And so, and when I've been teaching this stuff over many, many years, um, I've got, as you know, Ishani, um, one of the books that came out probably about, I don't know, eight, nine years ago now that's in bookshops um, is also on similar topics. And it's just when people read it, they get it. And it's like, and then their life, it just starts to change. It's like, wow, I don't have to be caught up over here. I can choose to, you know, be in control of, you know, or, you know, have that self-control. So that's why. So it's just that passion to, to help people to be free. I think that's a very, very important understanding that one should have. And it's really good that through this book, you're trying to bring the understanding to people as early on as in their life. So I'm going to ask you a very tough question, maybe not for you because you're the author, you're the writer. Summarize a book in one or two, three sentences, Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, when I think about that, basically, oh, hang on. Hang on, I'm actually going to go to my notes here because I've pre-prepared that answer. Um, so as we know, it is the first book in G2M's Money Smart series. So this is G2M here, which is short for Groovy Money Mama. And then we have this gorgeous um, young lady here who is called Ash, or she's the smart one, and then her best friend, Italian Aussie, who's really laid back, whose name is Dom. So it's there, it's about sort of their relationships with each other. 
but also they get challenged by their teacher and by this social entrepreneur lady called g 2 um, about money smarts. So it's just teaching them a different way to look at money. Lovely. That's interesting. And just to build a bit on that, mm -hmm. I would also like you to tell us what is the overall theme over here? Say it again. What's the overall theme? That okay. Well, the theme, I would say the number one theme is about money smarts. So it's about how to have a healthy, beneficial relationship with money. So your so money is not your master, but money becomes a tool that you can use. Um, so that would be one. And then the second one is about the relationships. And especially in this particular case, there is a new student. So it's always, and especially part of, some of you will know that part of my background is as a teacher. And so every time there's a new student in class, it's like everything starts again. And it's just so, yeah. So yeah. it's about and the relationships and how do you, how do you, what happens when the new kid arrives? Things get really interesting. So thank you, Catherine, for, you know, taking us through what inspired you and what is this book all about? I think a lot of us have got the overall theme and a little bit more about details of the book. We yeah. are going to come to a close on this video because we are going to ask you a lot, many more questions, but we are going to do that in small chunks so that our audience can enjoy all these videos on a go. So thank you, Catherine, for coming down and doing this for us and letting a letting us know a bit more about yourself and the book. Thank you, Wishani. It's it's awesome. Again, like I said, for you to be a guest podcaster is just um, lovely or guest interviewer is